<laughs> what is going on guys it is fatal reaper day bring you another video on the hp pavilion and um before we continue guys be sure to hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell so before we get into this video guys um just want to go ahead and stress that um i did have someone comment here and I'm not picking on you who if you're watching this video still um, about different content so um, I do like to do different content I do do different content I do do some modern warfare and a few other little things I do have a little nightmares video coming um, should be out before this video if I'm not mistaken uh, if you guys want to see different content want to see me play different games um, you know modern warfare anything like that you know let me know down in the comments below be sure to get to that um, the reason I do so many HP pavilion videos is because so many people people request for them and I want to do every video possible that you guys want for I mean more views and just for the fact for my viewers and subscribers I mean you guys that's what you want to see that's what I'm trying to show you so with that that out of the way again go but I'm completely open I, I love doing other videos on other games and stuff like that so if you got any other games in mind please leave me down some comments down below if you guys want to see other games me actually just play them instead of doing just a test for it uh, other than that so in this video this is Fallout 4 if you did not know um, this is a, we had a frame counter in the left corner right there, and this is Fallout 4. So, Fallout 4 is kind of like Skyrim, um, there was a bit of the, it's a little bit challenging to get the frame counter unlocked, um, or V-Sync off, whatever, whatever which way it is. So, I didn't really fool with that, but I can tell you that you would definitely get more than 60 frames. It was obviously capped to 60 and did not waver one bit, and we did have the settings on completely max. Just to let you know, it's like Skyrim, so before you start up the game, it'll give you an option to do go through the settings. I put everything on Ultra that could be put on Ultra. I did turn one off, and that was uh, Weapon Debris. So, if you don't turn on Weapon Debris, it probably will crash sometimes. Now, maybe not for you, but I did have some issues with Fallout 4 crashing if I didn't turn Weapon Debris off. Um, some people had the same issue, that's what I was having. Every time I'd launch it, would it would crash. But um, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me down, again, comments down below what you else would you want to see. I have a Rainbow Six Siege video coming very soon. I have an Apex Legends, should be already out. So I'm going to cover every video I can for this HP Pavilion that you guys want to see. I thought the Fallout would be a good video to do, just like Skyrim, because someone asked for Skyrim. I'm sure Fallout would be an another one. So again, guys, this laptop plays great. Been playing games great. Still playing games great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Surface and thank you for choosing Salt Tech. 